all right welcome back everyone to another video and i figured out what pw dash dot command does on linux especially fedora 35 you now it's all pulse wire and i figured out to put it to use i wanted to monitor my audio routing live as it happens and uh, this is one of the more hacky ways to do it um this is sort of just you know an hour or like 15 minutes of coding uh, and to, to figure out how what's the hackiest way to get that graph out uh, pw dash dot generates a graph is dot file um, that has all the graphing of how the audio routing is running within linux worked worked out and dash s is smart so it removes everything that's not being used lr push and stuff in a more squarish way and dash nine make sure you don't have squiggly lines and make sure you have nice um 90 degree lines on your graph and uh it's a very simple um code you just start with tk uh, ui and then create a label put an image onto that label that image comes from um the the pi dot a library converting that dot file to a png file and then we load that png file into um into that label uh, on, on tk and just call this back um after every one second again as i said not the most efficient way to do it probably probably there are better ways to do it this is just a quick hack that i found um and if i close that uh, what i can do is then run that code and that gives us the graph and right now um it's uh singing on to obs i don't know why it's not okay so the, my mic is connected to audacity over alsa directly and not over pipe wire so it negates the pipe wire and i'm using audacity free world which is so you know not not the bad audacity the good audacity but that's a discussion for another time uh, and I want to show you how it all works in real time, how it updates the graph um, in the back end. And it, I, I didn't find a lot of CPU overload um, with this method, although it's running Python in the background all the time. But also I, I have a Ryzen 9 3950X, so that might be different if you have a, a mid to lower range CPU. Um, I have to test it on some of the um, my older laptops and stuff to see if it actually has any significant overhead but for the time being uh, let's open up one video let's open up another video and let's open up a third video so i'll mute all of them but i think they're still pushing some amount of audio through so all right so it updated and now it um, shows the um, obs stream input here um which comes from desktop that's why it suddenly lit up uh because it it's not currently capturing desktop audio but it's um trying to all right so when i mute everything after some time obs detects that there's no audio coming through so it will um you know reduce that so i'll just put it at a very low volume so it doesn't disturb me and but also gives you a look at um how the graph is being formed um, and this is super distracting because now I literally have voices in my head. Um, right, so we have three Google Chrome tabs and they are showed here. Each of them have a link ID, output node, blah, blah, blah. Same for everything. Everything's unique. Um, uh, of course, the output, uh, output node ID is not unique um, because that's what it has to connect to. Um, and the input port ID is also not unique. Yep, that's all connecting to this. So my few, few uh, USB audio um, DAC, um, and that outputs it to my headphones or to my speaker. Um, and then um, from, uh, this is sort of the center node, uh, and then same IDs uh, are going on to, as input, because this is all through desktop, um, on, onto the OBS, uh, what OBS calls the desktop audio input. So, that's sort of how it works it will skip anything that's uh direct also so like audacity um, as you can see that's recording right now um but everything's that that's not 
a diagram so that goes through pipe wire will still work let's see if zoom test actually works um that should give us microphone and everything i hope it doesn't mess up with audacity voice recording all right okay that's trying to connect and yep a bunch of stuff shows so it shows up as you can see um you have your input and output and and it's capturing something from hey it's using my usb hub as audio so that's weird um hmm i can hear that that's not my so if i can if i change it to this that yeah that changed to my webcam so as you can see sometimes these graph actually get really large um yeah now i can switch off zoom uh can you and sleep right so yeah these graph can change in size and that's like one of the things that i haven't tried to figure out yet because um what i really want to do is try and you know have something that's a bit more dynamic so if i make it full screen in one of my smaller displays it it comes out as um you know it rearranges itself with the space it has and has nice um you know scroll bars and way to navigate through it because sometimes the whole mess gets a bit larger but yeah this is uh, one simple way to um you know detect audio um routing on your system or live monitor it um anyways i don't i don't think i'll put this code on github as per, per se probably license it's, it's basic code i don't even care this is i've this is in the public domain go use it make something out of it um here's the code see it on this video um and uh, again thank you so much for watching um and i'll see you in the next one bye